Right. Mr. Smith, your blood pressure is a little bit high today. So how about you come back in about four weeks time and we can recheck that for you. Is that going to be okay? So whose responsibility is it to make sure that Mr. Smith does come back and has his blood pressure rechecked? Is it your responsibility or is it the patient's, Mr. Smith's responsibility? If let's say he doesn't come back and five years down the line develops hypertensive nephropathy and decides that he actually wants to sue you for this, is he in the right or is he in the wrong? Well, this has got off to a good start, eh? And you were hoping for a simple EMIS tutorial. Let me know what you think about whose responsibility it really is in the comments below. And let's set up an EMIS web recall system with diary entries for your practice. For this, you will need to know a little bit about searches and feel free to click here for a quick seven minute tutorial by yours truly. And to make sure all of your team is using the right codes that we can later search for, we will create a simple template for you. And again, there's a nifty template video right here for your viewing pleasure. The system is simple. Number one, you see a patient and feel something needs double checking in a while, maybe a few weeks, a few months, or even a few years. Number two, you access your template, add a diary entry, and you set the date. And number three, periodically or monthly, one of your admin staff runs the search looking for these diary entries and sends a task to either an admin or a clinical person to get in touch with the patient and sort it out. So let's start with the template. Go to your EMIS ball in the top left hand corner, go down to configuration, resource publisher. At this point, you want to make sure that you're in the protocols and templates and click on your practice. You're going to want to create a folder. Right click, new, folder. And you can call this folder whatever you want. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to call it GP on the move and click save. All right, go into your folder, click on add, template. So this is the template builder and this is where you can start adding in your diary entries. As you can see on the left hand side, diary entry and drag it into the main window. Now in Mr. Smith's case, we want to recheck his blood pressure in four weeks time. And the code that we use for that in our practice is diagnostic assessment. So I'm going to find that code. Click on the magnifying glass and put in diagnostic assessment and double click. So what you need to do as well is make sure you tick this box so that users can add free text. Click OK. Brilliant. Now if you want to tidy things up a little bit here, you can click on the new section properties and just rename that. And I'm going to call this diary entries and press OK. So what you can do as well, just to make sure that this does work OK, is test it on a patient. Click on test template and find your patient. We're going to use Tilly Tester, which is a dummy patient. All right, there we go. So what I can do is click on diagnostic assessment and I can write recheck BP and I can set the date for that by clicking here and choosing the 28th of February. At this point, save and close. And let's call this template recall codes and make sure you click on your folder, GP on the move. The last thing you need to do to make sure this template is active is activated. So right click on recall codes, status, activate. Yes. Now let me give you an example of the full template that we have set up in our practice. As you can see, clinicians in our practice have a wide range to choose from. But what I'll do is I'll share all of these diary entries into the description of this video. Now you might already know this, but if you want the clinician to add the diary code, just click on run template and find recall codes. Brilliant, double click. And here we have our diagnostic assessment. We're gonna set this for in four weeks time and save template. As you can see, a follow-up diary entry has been added and you just save the consultation. Okay, brilliant. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to create the search. To get to your homepage, just click on the little house in the top left hand corner and click on population reporting. At this point, like before, you want to add a folder. Click on your practice, right click, add folder. And again, you can call this whatever you want. <laughs> I'm just going to call it GP on the move <laughs> and click OK. Brilliant. Now scroll down to your folder, click on your folder and let's create a search. Go to add patient search. And we're going to call this diagnostic assessment search and make sure that you click on currently registered regular patients and click OK. At this point, you're going to want to add a rule. Create new rule, click on the feature and choose diary entries. Let's add the criteria, which is the clinical code. And that's diagnostic assessment. Brilliant. And double click here. Click OK. You want to add a criteria, which will be your date range. Date, set date. Now, what we have done in our practice is that we have made the date range actually 10 years because we want to pick up on all those really old diary entries that might have been lingering there for years and years and years and no one has really looked at them. So we wanted to really clean things up. What I'm going to do is click here and add 10. So that's 10 years. And you need to tick this box as well 
and before the search date. So what that means, if I run the search on the 31st of January, 2022, then the date range is 10 years back. Click OK and OK. At this point, you just go to save and run and run this report. Brilliant. So as you can see, out of the 7,229 patients registered at our practice, 36 of those patients have some kind of outstanding diary entry under the diagnostic assessment diary entry. So what your admin person can do at this point is just click on population included and go through each of these notes separately. Now, the way to do that is you just right click on your patient and go directly to diary. So as you can see, this patient has an outstanding diary entry under diagnostic assessment that was due on the 3rd of January, 2022. And it says here, repeat ultrasound scan, note document. So your admin person could send a task directly to a clinician just to request the ultrasound one more time or to go into the document and find out why it needs repeating in the first place. Now you might see different things here. And if it was recheck blood pressure, sometimes you'll get blood tests in here as well. You can book the patient in directly with the phlebotomist or your healthcare assistant or a nurse. There you have it. I would highly recommend setting up a diary system in your practice for medical legal reasons, but also because you will just be providing better patient care this way. Finally, make sure introducing your new starters to the diary system in your practice is part of their induction, and they will also thank you for it. That's it, guys. I hope that was informative. As always, feel free to get in touch, send me an email, leave a comment, and share with a colleague or friend. Let's make this primary care world just a little bit better one diary entry at a time. Otherwise, good luck.